Welcome back to another video, today we will talk about Just Stop Oil protest in United Kingdom. Just Stop Oil described themselves as a coalition of groups working together to demand the government stop the exploration, development and production of fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal in the UK. The group launched on February 14, 2022. Just Stop Oil opposes the United Kingdom granting new fossil fuel licensing and production agreements. One, on its website Just Stop Oil has also called for the government of the United Kingdom to stop all future consents and licensing agreements that is related to the development, exploration, and production of fossil fuels in the country. 41. In an interview with The Guardian a Just Stop Oil organizer described the group as non-hierarchical, with activists in the group operating in autonomous blocks that share resources but also have no formal leadership. 42. Just Stop Oil says that it favors non-violent direct action and civil resistance. The group only generates funding from donations. In April 2022, it was reported that Just Stop Oil's primary source of funding was donations from the American-based Climate Emergency Fund. Through that fund, a notable donor to the group has been Aileen Getty, a descendant of the family which founded the Getty Oil Company. The group also accepts donations in cryptocurrency and favors Ethereum for donations. This has generated criticism due to environmental impact of cryptocurrencies. On October 14, 2022, two Just Stop Oil protesters made a verbal statement through tomato soup at the fourth version of Vincent van Gogh's 1888 work The All Sunflowers in the National Gallery and then glued their hands to the wall below the painting. The painting was protected by glass and was not damaged, however the frame, itself of significant value, suffered some slight damage, the rotating sign outside Scotland Yard was also spray-painted orange. More than 20 arrests were made. On October 17, 2022, two supporters scaled the Queen Elizabeth II Bridge, which connects the M25 between Essex and Kent, causing its closure. One of the climbers, Morgan Trolland, was a bridge design engineer from London. The closure resulted in 6 miles, 9.7 kilometers of congestion on both directions of the bridge. It has divided opinion, with some criticizing their disruptive tactics and others praising them for raising attention. Methods such as strikes, boycotts and mass protests often used by climate protest groups to make their point have been criticized for being extreme, selfish and creating too much disruption to people's lives. Members of the group have broken the law and been arrested for offenses such as criminal damage. Some politicians have condemned the group's tactics for causing lives to be brought to a standstill. Newsbeat has been finding out more from the individuals involved in the group. While many protester thinks people don't have access to water and I'm terrified that within the next few years, my family could be struggling to survive. Now's the time where we have to give it absolutely everything. It doesn't really feel like a choice, it feels like a duty. What are your view on this topic you can write it down in comments. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below. Signing out.